Good morning and welcome to the video for Tuesday, May the 19th. This is going to be the homework video for fourth grade. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. I've written everything in. I'm just going to kind of talk through different things. So because there are multiple ways to do it, um, the way that I chose to do it was to go ahead and split this up. So I was doing 12 times 9 to get 108 plus seven times five to get 35, and that gives me 143. Your other option would have been to divide this way. Our top rectangle would have been worth 45 for nine times five. Our other one would be 14 times seven, which would have been 98, uh, which also gives us 143 square feet. For number three, uh, the way that I chose to do it was go across this way. And so that gives me 45 square feet plus 18 square feet or sorry, inches uh, to get 63 square inches. The other way you could do it was to uh, split it up this way and do six times five for this rectangle and three times 11 for this rectangle. And again, that would give us 30 plus 33 for a total of 63 square inches. So the trick for number four and number five was to figure out our missing numbers. So the first one we can find, I'm gonna zoom in just a touch here, um, by doing 15 minus 11. And so this bottom portion that's still left is going to be worth four feet. And so we would take that over to this side. We have a total of nine feet. We use our measurement of four feet from here, subtract, and this measurement is going to be five feet. So when we're working with number five, we would have five times five, which is going to give us 25 square feet. And for number four, we would be doing 13 times four, which is going to give us 52 square feet. Again, I went ahead and scratched out number six uh, because all you need to do is figure out using a word problem uh, like what we might find uh, on one of the other pages and just kind of change the numbers. And I don't find those particularly useful. Uh, so number one, the strategy that I went with was to go ahead and subtract because 20 times five gives me 100. I can go ahead and find the measurement for the side of two, and I can do two times 12 uh, and take away 24 from my 100 to start with to get 76. And so other options that you could do would be to do 12 times three uh, for this rectangle, and you could do five times eight for that rectangle, add them together. Um, and then you could also go ahead and go this way, in which case you are doing eight times two plus 20 times three. And so 60 plus 16 would also give us 76 square yards. Uh, for number two, here's our formula. Uh, hopefully everybody understands that by this point in time. Number three, we are multiplying the number of yards times three feet and a yard. That would give us a total of 18 feet. For number four, this is the only way I could think of that would actually work uh, to have three books. If I used a larger number, um, 16, I would have two repeating uh, books that were a multiple of four, and it says that all three books each have a different price. And so this is the only way that it seems like actually works out if we're going to do three different multiples of four. Uh, for number five, uh, Esmeralda has a magnet in the shape of a square, so I'm going to multiply my side length times four sides. That gives me 12 inches, and again, because we're working with perimeter, we're not going to have the square uh, for that. And then for number six, we would do nine feet times seven feet to get 63 square feet. So those are the problems for the homework for today. Again, our very last lesson of the school year uh, for my students is going to be coming out on Wednesday morning, the 20th. And so uh, we'll have some additional activities for uh, after that, as well as a homework video from that lesson coming out on Thursday. So hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.